Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to create the trays on Cricut Design Space. This is just for the design purpose and then I will do a second video of me actually spraying the trays so that way y'all can see that as well. For the design part, of course, like I said, we're going to start over here in Cricut and we're going to start off with our shape. The shape that I like to select is the rectangle. The rectangle is the easiest to work with. So we're going to go ahead and bring this over. Um, I do flip it depending on how I'm going to spray the tray. Again, this is just for visual purposes. So I'll flip it that way and then I'll duplicate it. Depending on how many colors you're going to have on a tray, you will kind of do this and then just kind of layer it up so you can get that visual of every color behind it. So once I have them side by side, I kind of overlay it just a tiny bit, not even a lot. And I'm going to group it together. So after it's grouped together, um, you still have the option to select each rectangle to make it whatever color you would like. So we'll go back and do that here shortly, but I'm going to upload the images that I would like to use for this tray. So for this one, we are focusing on the North Carolina. Um, this is the one that we're going to do. Let me actually open this up more. So the order I have is for North Carolina. <clears throat> And we just select all of them. Now, even though I may not use all of these, I'm still going to add them all. So that way I can play around and see what I don't want. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can go back to our canvas. All of our things are already on here. So the next thing that you would go on to is we're going to size this 19 width by 14 height that is the size of the tray so when you go to put your stickers on everything that you're going to size this to is going to be exactly how it's going to be on the tray um so we can go ahead and change our colors i'm going to use blue and white for this one so if it's not the exact blue that you're looking for, you can always open up the advance and kind of move it down to get the blue that you want. This is as close to the blue I'm going to be using. <clears throat> so we'll leave that one. And for the next one, I'm just going to do white. And then I'll probably spray the rim, but we can't do that part. But I'll probably spray the rim like that dark blue color that's on here. But just working on the top part and focusing on this top part we are let me make sure i send this back okay it's already back so now we get to put our pieces on again remember however you size it and whatever it's going to be on here this is your visual for when you go to put it on the tray personally I like to do this part first because when you go to put the stickers on a tray if you try to take them off you're going to take your paint off so it's very important to make sure we get it right the first time. All right, so I'm going to focus on my middle piece first, and then I'll work around the rest. So I'm either going to use this one as my middle piece or this one as my middle piece. Um, let's, let's maybe try this one. And for the middle, because with Cricut, you only can cut so big when you're doing print to cut, I always make my middle piece the largest you can cut it, which is 9.25 by 6.75 now let's say this doesn't look right with the width and the height at that size just flip those numbers around again just use those two numbers though 6.75 .9, 9.25 mm. so it stretches it out and gives it a little better it gives it like you know a fuller look kind of sort of so i'll go with this one um may want to put a small offset around it so i think i'm going to do that so let's get a small offset behind it cricut has an offset button so you don't have to really do too much and let's see okay so our offset looks good then we're going to just change it white most important thing is to flatten it 
when you flatten it and make sure it cuts around it if you do not flatten it Cricut will give you like a piece to actually cut as a regular cut then they give you a print to cut you want to make sure they're together so make sure you flatten it all right then we're going to take it back up and resize <clears throat> 6.75, 9.25, and lock it in, and we're good to go. All right, so now we got our middle piece, so now we can focus on the outside skirts. Um, I'll probably use the helmet. I love using the helmets. So let's see. Um, you can also give these small um, offsets behind it as well. Especially if you feel like something is going to cut like all the way out. This particular hemant piece is going to cut exactly how it's supposed to be. So we don't need to worry too much about that one. Um, but again, just to show you, you can take it and put that small offset behind it. Apply and then change it white or whatever color you're working with. Flatten it. Once again, most important. And then you just go over here and place it. So for this one, it looks like it's going to end up being 6.3 by 5.18. Again, however you size it on here, it's what it's going to be on that tray. So any overlaying, anything that you see in that nature, that's going to give you problems when you go to print it. And it's going to look exactly like that. So just make sure your sides in is perfect. Um, let's see. Let's go here. I definitely probably will put an offset behind here because I just want to put an offset behind it. So let me get this one. My most important reason for the offset is because potentially this tar right here is going to, when I go to pick it up from the sticker paper, it's going to be separate. So to save me a headache, of having to reline those two words back up under this little thing, I am going to just go ahead and put the offset behind it so that way when I pick it up from the paper, it all picks up together and I don't have to worry about nothing extra. It can be really small again. Just make sure it's gathering everything, all the details. Let me go ahead and bring this up a little bit so y'all can see. Okay, so right here, so the gap. So when you go to pick it up from the sticker paper, it's going to pick up just like that because when it cuts, it's cutting around all of that. So that's why we're going to just give it a small offset so that way that's not there. Really small. So now when I go to pick it up from the sticker paper, all of that's going to gather together. And our colors are white and blue, so we're just going to change that white and flatten all right, I'm going back out again because I just need to back out so I can get my visual. All righty. Placing that. Mm, that looks good there. Uh, I'll probably think about changing around later. Okay, all right, so we can leave that there. And then for the next one, let's see. Which one do I want to use? Let's go with the just the head. Let's see what this looks like. This one, I won't put an offset behind it. This one looks like it's just going to, when I peel it off, it's going to pick up all in one piece. So I'm not going to offset this one. <laughs> but I do want to make sure that my price or my sizing is correct. <clears throat> Alrighty, so this one is going to end up being 6.29 by 5.31. And we got the last thing. So I think we got the foot with the tar on there. Okay. Looks okay to me. 
So then normally I just send this over to my customer, get their approval, you know, make sure they're okay with this design. Maybe I need to change around something. Sometimes people want names added. Normally I do add names a lot. So um, typically they are more personal, but this customer only wants the tray, no name. So I think since we have our tray ready to go, we're going to go ahead and do the print to cut. And let me show you how to do that part. So when I go to do the actual cutting part, one thing is if you have glossy paper, the print to cut on Cricut will not read the actual glossy paper when it comes to the register lines. So you want to use... Uh, some matte tape around it put some matte tape on those lines just the lines and it will read that glossy paper for you um, if you have just the regular matte vinyl paper totally fine that one is the best one to use um, you want to take off this border from the background because we don't need that that was just for our visual so we're going to hit make and then, of course, the centerpiece is always going to use the, the most paper because it's the biggest one. So this is why you can only print so big on Cricut with the print to cut. So that's our first piece. We got our second piece. So it looks like we're going to use a total of four or five sheets in total. Sometimes you can eliminate sheets. So to try to eliminate sheets, hit the three lines and we're going to hit move. And then let's see where we can get this to fit in at. So let's click over here. Let's see if we can get that over here with that. Let's see. Mm. Yes, yeah, see, we can definitely get that in here. So we're going to leave those two together and we just eliminated one of our sheets. So now we're only going to have four sheets instead of five. I doubt it we can put these two on the same because of the sizing, but let's go for it and try first. If not, we can always just move it back to where it needs to be. So let's click on this one. Mm, nope. <clears throat> yeah, see the sizing, it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's just move this back over. So it looks like we are stuck with at least four sheets, but we did at least get to eliminate one sheet. So Again, if you can eliminate some sheets, try to put move stuff around and gather them together on another sheet so that way you're saving money and paper, definitely go for it. Cricut will not always do it for you. They honestly don't do it for you at all, but definitely try to save yourself some money. All right, so now when we go to hit cut, you see that fifth sheet disappeared. So now it literally only gives us the sheets that we need to work with. So then we'll go to print these. I'm going to make a second video of me spraying the trays and we'll get that posted and I will be back after this part.